Hi folks, Jason here once again on Not Sort For Mum and today as promised I have the second part of my Micro Galaxy uh, vehicles to unbox for you and as you would have seen in the previous video it is Boba Fett's Starship as they call it there but it's always Slave 2 to me um, that's what it was called perhaps they're trying to be woke or something stupid <sighs> no. Alright, there we go, that's the vehicle. I'm going to take them out. You've got two people in here. Uh, Boba Fett and... I'm not sure who that is. <sighs> yeah, I don't know who the other one is. Some sort of droid thing or something, I don't know. What does it say? It's far, far too small for me to read the text, so... Anyway, we're more concerned about the ship than anything else. Right, so let's get him open. Now, there is a bit of sticky tape on it, so I'm going to be trying to get into this without buggering the box over, but at the same time I want to get the tape off. Right, so this could be... Problematic. I'm not sure exactly how they've done this. Ah, no, we got it. That's all right. Apologise for seeing the top of my hat, but I've got to look at things a bit more closely because I, those of you that know me, know I've got pretty bad sight. So, you know, you have to get things close up sometimes, and that means I've got to look down at what I'm doing. I'm not being rude. No, not much anyway. <laughs> Uh, loads of tape on this thing. I'm not as worried about that because, say, the boxes that I can keep, I like to keep. Uh, you know, some of the ones on blister pack, you can't really do anything about that. So, yeah. But anyway, I think we finally got him. He says, "There we are. We're in. We're in. Hurrah!" Now, somebody explain to me, actually, right, what they mean by launch edition, right? What's the difference between that and, say, like any other one you might pick up? Is that purely because it was the first run, if you will? So, like, if you do, like, a first printing of a book or a comic, you know, I think that's the only thing it can mean. Um, to me... I'm not really that bothered, I'm just happy to have the model. Anyway, there we go. As always, uh, so you've got the backdrop there, which is nice. I do like those a lot. And um, if I ever find a proper place to put these with, I can have them all up in one area. Then I may well use those backdrops or um, a copy of it, shall we say. Right, now, we're going to have a little bit of trouble getting this thingy out because they're always a pain and you always worry about snapping bits off the model I don't know why they have to be quite so tight that's what she said <laughs> <laughs> or was it he said I don't know why <laughs> somebody said it <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right, okay, so we're in. I put Boba Fett and his mate to one side. Yeah, if you know what the other figure is, uh, please do tell me. So, there we are. Pretty cool ship. Unfortunately, as someone else said about this, the, the wings don't look in place, which is a bit silly. Because, obviously, one way has got to be that way. And the... Uh, Obviously, when it's that way, that, that makes sense for them to be down. But, yeah, they don't look in place, which is a little bit, a little bit crap. But, hey-ho, it is what it is. You know, I mean, I'll probably just play it that way anyway. 
Because of, uh, I, well, I'll show you later what else it can do. So, the guns move. Yep. Uh, I believe the cockpit opens up. Yep. And the seat, which is a nice little thing, actually rotates to what he's sitting in. So, you know, the wings do move to an extent. But he's, uh, yeah, he's not going to be looking. It would be nice if, oh, hang on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The person who said the wings didn't lock was telling Porky's. Because, again, it's difficult to do. But I did manage to do it. Yeah, it's 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 not it's not great, but anyway. Yeah, okay. We'll have to leave that anyway. I think it's because it's it's new, and it's a bit stiff. They don't they don't lock properly, but that's a shame. I thought I had it. Yeah, never mind, never mind. It is what it is, as I say. So anyway, yeah, that's the cockpit, and then what else have we got on the back? There's a little bit there. So you can see that, just sort of like a section down. I think it also means it probably stand up better, possibly. I don't know. I don't know if I want to put all the weights on that. Uh, now, this is the tricky bit. Because apparently the door opens. It does look a little bit, so you can see the hinges on there, which isn't perhaps as good as it could have been, but, you know... Um, that's a small thing to worry about, and it's going to be fiddly as hell to get in here. So yeah, again, you may have to bear with me. So I'm looking down again. I know. Let's see if there's another way of doing it. These models, yeah, these models, they're good. I like, ah, wait, okay, wait a minute. I'm trying to get it from the wrong angle. Right, it looks like it's sideways. Yes, okay. That's easier. Right, so yeah, there we go. That opens up. You can see inside. And, um, now there was a way. Ah, there we are. And the runway comes down as well, look. And again, you can see inside. I don't know if you can see it. I think it's supposed to be Boba Fett's jetpack in there as well. And I'm assuming that was, if they'd done it, you're going to put your hand solo in there as well. Doesn't really open up into it, though, does it properly? Ah, wait a minute. Does it or not? Uh, I'm not sure. Sorry, it's very fiddly. No, you can't see Boba Fett's cockpit in there, obviously. Uh, uh, get right, jetpack in there, probably, because you can't see in it again. But yeah, it's very fiddly to do. Yeah. I'm not... I'm not as pleased with this model um, as I thought I would be. I like it. I like it. I mean, it's good. But see, this is my favourite ship. I think they could have done a bit more with it to uh, make it even better. Yeah. Oh, hang on. There's another little bit that flips around here somewhere. I'm not quite sure how that works. Bear with me. Ah, right, okay. So you've got, so that is the door. Again, it doesn't sit in place. I don't know if you can see that very well. So that, that does, where are we? Sorry, I'm not very good at doing this. So yeah, that, there we are. That sort of little door that opens. You can't see it very well on camera, but hopefully you can see it better than I. So that opens and closes. So that's obviously more out of where he's, he's come from to get down the ramp. Uh, yeah, anyway, I mean, yeah, it's it's decent. It's decent. I do like it. But I just think they could have done a bit of a better job on this one. Um, 
if I do find out any more about it and things like that, that are there that um, I haven't discovered, then I will let you know. Actually, I uh, I retract that statement about the the uh, door not opening up. It does. It's just very very fiddly to do. There you go. So that's better, isn't it? That's a lot better now that you can do that. So you can actually open that door. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Um, thanks ever so much for watching, subscribing and all the rest of it. Um, do leave a comment if you feel like it. And um, keep coming back for more content. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>